but it was in my childhood day. Hi, YouTube. Um, I just wanted to, this is a 2001 Ford Expedition, and uh, I was getting a uh, P0171 and a P0174 um, air code, and it was throwing the check engine light. The uh, Those two codes are uh, lean condition on bank one and bank two and which lends towards a vacuum leak somewhere on the engine. There's vacuum all over the engine. Um, I did a little bit of research and found out that it could possibly be a, a leak from the back of the manifold to the uh, PCV valve. And um, in my searching around the engine um, I did check the uh, the tube that runs from the PCV valve at the at the valve cover to which is right here and it runs to the back of the manifold um, on the engine uh, the part looks like this here that's a Ford part you can't buy it from anybody else. That's the part number. This part number is the same for the expedition from 97 to 2001 or 2 and the uh, Ford F-150 and Ford F-250 pickups with the 5.4 liter and possibly the 4.6 liter also. Uh, but what, what I did find when I um, started looking uh, at this is I pulled the PCV valve from the valve cover. And the PCV valve is attached to a plastic tube through this boot right here. I had to cut the boot off because it wouldn't come off. But this is what I found. A huge crack. A huge crack in the in the boot causing a major uh, vacuum leak in my engine um, the the symptoms that we were receiving was not only the check engine light but it was um, extremely running extremely bad uh, having a hard time idling stumbling at stop signs just overall running really bad. Um, this is the PCV valve uh, here, and it'll come out. This will go into the into the valve cover, and there's a rubber grommet down there. And this piece right here, when you get the part from Ford, comes with the whole thing, including the PCV valve. So this is 40, we paid $41 for this part right here. Just to go to the repair shop and have a diagnostic, they wanted $170 just to diagnose for two hours. So if they went over two hours, then it would be additional to that. And the only way to get that cut down is by having... Um, by your by your uh, repair uh, if it took them an hour your repair they would give you a credit off of your 170 bucks uh, from the diagnostic which probably you would never see but what what the way that we're going to repair this is I'm going to remove this shroud off the top of the um, throttle body area here that's going to give me the clearance that I need to get inside this this tube runs from here straight back and across and then it comes into the back of the manifold right here 
in this area, okay? That could be also bad, but I don't even know that because this area here was so bad that I just had to replace the whole tube. Um, you can't buy that boot that comes from the uh, PCB valve to this tube. You have to buy the whole piece from Ford. It's not even available um, in uh, in the auto parts store. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and repair it, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I got uh, the part out of this 2001 Expedition, and uh, as you can see, it's well-worn. Uh, one of the things I did find is that there's a giant hole in the back of this boot also, which is going to uh, uh, leak. Um, but how I got that out of there is uh, it, it sits in the back of the engine like this and plugs into the back of the uh, uh, ex the intake manifold in, an, in this area here, right in here. There's a tube there, if you can see that. Right in this area. Okay, so it'll run across the back of the engine and out into this area here. So what I did was I, um, I reached back in there and I put a uh, screwdriver into the boot, just dug it into the boot there, and I sprayed some brake cleaner into the boot um, from out here, and that'll wet it enough that you can just push it off. Now, getting it back on is going to be another story. Um, it's, there's not much room in there. You're going to have to um, reach in there with your hands and actually push that boot on, but once you get the part back in there, the new part, uh, you can wet that boot again and it'll slide right on. So it's just a matter of reaching back in there, which is kind of deep, but you'll get it. Okay, so now I'm going to install the, uh, the new part. And the way that goes in there is that you just feed it through here, kind of tilt it up. And around the back, like there. Okay, so I got that uh, over that back boot without much problem. Now you just got to find where that PVC PCV valve goes in. It's a rubber grommet on the valve cover and just plug it in. And that's it right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and reinstall the cover. And that's the repair. So we'll go ahead and start it up to see how it sounds. I'm sure, it's going to be a ton better.
like it's real smooth, no bumps or...